Well, I'm currently on a diet that reduces my um, preference for carbohydrates. You know, I'm trying to prevent diabetes at an age while I still can. So I am a very big believer in steak. <laughs> As for proof of steak, um, I think it's rather interesting, but we only have one proof of work consensus algorithm that works today. Um, a few years ago, my main work was trying to understand just how Bitcoin works at a very fundamental level and keep understanding it at a deeper and deeper level. Now my main job is still understanding Bitcoin at a deeper level, but also reading about all of the other things that are happening. And just when I think I understand, something new comes out and I'm like blown away. Five months ago, I did not know anything about segregated witness, and then Peter Wool pulled something out at a conference and blew my mind away, and now that is that. I started reading about Lightning Network six months ago. I started understanding it about three or four months ago to a level of depth, and it's blowing my mind. Um, there are dozens and dozens of dozens of projects that I know of that excite me tremendously because I can see all of this raw creativity. And, and sometimes I think this is really, really funny because the banks are like, and the, and the government's like, we're going to regulate Bitcoin. You have no idea what is going on in this space. You have this caricature version of Bitcoin in 2009 that you're trying to regulate. Meanwhile, <laughs> Peter Wool and Greg Maxwell are building confidential transactions and segregated witness and payment channels and Lightning Network and God knows what else. And there's thousands of people building interesting things. So yeah, good luck with that. It's it's overwhelming how many interesting things are happening. Overwhelming. Um, I started writing the second edition of my book. And I was like, I'll just make a list of the things that are new since I wrote it two years ago, or a year and a half ago, that I need to add to the book. That's a four-page document, and I'm needing to edit now, because it won't fit. Right? Um, and by the time I print it, I'm going to have to start working on the third edition list, because it will already be almost obsolete. Right? That's the nature of putting things on dead trees. Um, I find a lot of the new features fascinating. One of the things here's I'm going to blow your mind. By probably the end of 2016, Bitcoin will have a hybrid proof of work, proof of stake system. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't see that announcement. <laughs> By the end of 2016, Bitcoin will have a hybrid proof-of-stake system. Why? Because Lightning Network is a proof-of-stake system. And, and people haven't yet realized that Lightning Network is a proof-of-stake system. In order to set up a functioning channel on Lightning Network, you have to commit money to a multi-sig address. And the more money you have committed to the multi-sig address, the more transaction rates it can handle, and the more fees it can generate locally. And the definition of I stake money and it generates a small amount of fees while I have that money staked is a proof of stake system. Only it's a completely trustless proof of stake system based on Bitcoin transactions running on top and guaranteed by Bitcoin's proof of work. <laughs> and I only realized this about six months ago that that's what Lightning was. And I, and I then had to go to one of the developers who's writing it and go, just to make sure, am I getting this right? Is this really a proof of stakes? I'm like, yeah, you could call it that. I'm going to go call it that in Berlin. <laughs> um, so the thing is, Bitcoin is full of surprises, and proof of stake um, could be a really important part of the consensus algorithms in our future. Um, what it does allow us to do is scale much further than proof of work. So um, that's a benefit, and I think we're going to see a lot of development.